Them when we were staying in a bed seat in Nairobi. Imagine, guys. Imagine. 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 Oh, is it? Hey guys, English is almost becoming my language. You look so smart. I look so smart. Yeah, in that shirt and the trouser. <laughs> guys, or maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever jumped a finger mode? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. I've realized I keep I keep my okay. We've mm. been uh, staying in the village, mm. so I, I usually just come out with those clothes that mm. Zenyaziko. Okay, the ones which are very comfortable yeah. at the house yes. yeah in the village yeah. so i've been keeping this i used mm. to put them by going to teach nowadays now today i decided to bring them okay out. guys you know i just noticed like okay let me tell you guys where we are before we go eh? yeah. so guys one day we wanted okay before we built our land before we bought where are we building right now? Before we bought that land. No, this, we had already bought it. We had already bought it. Mm. But we were still trying to... To see eh? where we can have another land. Yeah. To build where... Yeah. Like it's a nice a nice place. Mm. Mm -hmm. This place, guys, looks so calm. Very calm. <laughs> Very calm, guys. You know, this is a neighborhood. You see, like, mm. no one is passing. Passing around here. Yeah, people have built here. Yeah, yeah people have yeah, really yeah. built. And then we also have this side here and that way you go to the main road and, and then there and there is also another one. So you know I was hearing come let's go and show them Nini. Meskia Nyuki. Okay, now they have kept quiet. I think they were passing. Okay, I had a swarm of bees guys here on they this avocado. Passing. I think they were passing. Yeah. Okay. But I can still see them kidogo avocado. Yeah, a few of them a few there. Of them, yeah. Yeah. So guys, we are actually starting our video here. We are actually en route to see our grandma and we just had a stopover at this beautiful spot here. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, okay. One thing, you know, let me say what's dominating so much in our life right now mm -hmm. is building our home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that has really taken us like every bit of us. Eh? Mm -hmm. So guys, okay, you know, we don't really share so much online eh? mm -hmm. but sometimes let me say the reason we're sharing this okay my grandma was sick Lynette maybe you can explain a little bit oh her grandma was sick uh actually I, I think in the last two months yeah, yeah she has been yeah. sick and mm -hmm. uh she was taken to theater so much dog. <laughs> she <laughs> was taken her. to theater yes yeah and uh I think it's now we are actually ending like to Namaliza Kulipia that money. Yeah, we are almost done Finishing. paying the money. So yeah, guys, she was done rotator what? And it's called rotator calf surgery. Rotator yeah. calf surgery. So yeah. there is a is a it nerve, a nerve? Yeah, a nerve. A nerve that and, was torn on the shoulder. Eh, so a surgery was done to return it. To return it. Sometimes getting old it comes with a lot of things you problems. Yeah. You yeah. see like me I always complain here and yeah. my back. Yeah. I always have a problem with my back. Mm. But it doesn't mean that like I carry heavy things. I yeah, don't even true. wash, by the way, guys. Mm. But still, my I have a backache. Okay, mm. so guys, grandma. Okay, we've been really struggling as a family to mm. cover the bills. Yeah. But at least, like, what we happy is, mm. like, the surgery was done. We managed to pay for the surgery. Mm. Maybe what's remaining, just a few. Mm. Is it called? 
to pesa hapa na pale <laughs> like a few dollars here and there eh? yeah we are trying actually to finish it up yeah. and maybe by the end of this month mm. we are planning to finish it all all yeah Mara moja. yeah so with the help of friends other families and we even did a fundraising yeah. but we thank god guys we've been able to do that mm. okay sometimes when you see us not doing so much pro such of a big progress on our home yeah. is because we have a lot that's a lot. going on eh? yeah yeah so but we thank god yeah for everything yeah at least right now she's well yeah like we thank god for her health yes compared to when we used to see her especially the pictures like mm. when she was removed the bandage it mm. was so traumatizing in a way like hey mm. and one thing i was like oh my gosh she's mm. so old mm. she's going uh, through this but one thing was amazing me is mm. she was gaining weight while she yeah. was sick. I, I was like, I, I think <laughs> grandma, you know, guys, also when you work so much, you look like you are exercising. You even tend to lose weight. Imagine. <laughs> she's sick. She's gaining weight. So I was like, what's happening? The same way I say, like, the way we work hard at our home there. Uh, sometimes I feel like it's almost like we are going to the gym. Yeah, yeah for it, hey, hey, gardening mm. is no joke. Guys, ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, where are we? There are snake plants here. Imagine there are snake plants here, and we always buy snake plants 300. Very expensive, chickens. guys. You see here, they are just existing for free. For free. You see? These ones here are snake plants. We have this type there. You can see many of them there. Many we... types, Charlotte. Many the types. The yellow one, which we planted home. Which is there? They were saying the yellow one is expensive. The yellow one is the so expensive. It's just growing at the beach. At the, at the other beach. At the roadside, guys, you see? <laughs> Maybe we'll see snakes here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> the day we were like snake plants chasing snakes away. And then? At home. Hey, we found a snake on there. Snake, snake plant, plant itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, okay, also let me know in the comment section. By the way, uh, for us, guys, eh, when you're going to visit grandma, mm -hmm. in most cases, we don't call her and tell her. Mm -hmm. Because let me say for old people, mm -hmm. let me say when you call them, Huh. They are like, guy, what are you going to cook for, uh, Charo and Lynette? Uh, okay, where are, okay, we don't want to give her that stress. Yeah. We just want to go home uh, and meet her where she's seated. Uh, we always buy food and uh, go with it that day, like we are sure. Like uh, when we go, we are not going to stress her. For real. Yeah. Yeah, me, one thing I love about when I go to visit grandma, mm. my grandma and your grandma mm. is, uh, uh, grandmas are very cheerful yes they cheerful. laugh yes <laughs> <laughs> they make you laugh uh -huh. like like for the smallest things you'll mm. have to laugh about mm -hmm. about it like they will make you laugh so i just love that mm. and also like um sometimes they even tend to be like us yes i don't know if it's they, pretending uh, they behave just they like, just like want they to be in our shoes in our like, shoes yes. when we are there i think we give you know? them the good vibe <laughs> I don't know, yeah. but me, I just love being around our grand, mm. our grandmas, for yeah. real, for real. Okay. But one thing, it's not about like sickness. We also, mm. we always go to visit her even without cameras, like recording. Yeah, yeah we go and check how she's uh, faring, faring on. By the right now, she's almost healed. Yeah, That's, uh, yeah. Today we decided to share with you guys. Mm. Yeah, and see about this journey. And mm. by the way, and uh, maybe your your parent your siblings or anybody was affected maybe by your rotator cuff your red rotator cuff mm. so guys can you tell us what's the cause of it yeah Ro because rotator rotator cuff yeah, rotator nah. rotator okay guys we are not yeah. neurosurgeonists <laughs> So guys, let me know in the comment section in case you're visiting your grandma. Mm. How do you go? Because hey. for us, let me say, even if we go right yeah. now, guys, and we don't meet grandma there, yeah, we, we already know, know where we, she has the she keys. She has the keys. We will go and cook talk. and <laughs> even cook. So what we are going to do actually is uh -huh. we don't want to stress her, to stress her, to strain her about the food because mm. right now if you just make a call and tell her we are coming, she'll be like, oh, what are they going to eat? Oh, mm. you know, just like mothers. Like yes. for me, my mother nowadays i don't tell her that i'm going home mm -hmm. because she will not go to the garden that she will, day. she'll be waiting <laughs> lynette where are you like every maybe every one hour you so know what we do is we huh? just go 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 huh? until we reach almost migori county yeah, that's... now we call it are you at home yes what do you mean yeah we are coming where are you at we are in, <laughs> in about 20 minutes we'll be at home yes. now we are sure yeah. we've not distracted her work at least yeah. you can go and help in huh? cooking she yes. don't have to 
like strain as parents much. Parents want to strain for their kids when they are coming back very home. Very much, very so much. So we don't want that. Yeah. Sometimes we even buy food. So yeah. like right now, we are going to buy meat. Mm, yeah, we, we go and cook, help her cook, <laughs> not her cooking for us. Yes. Yeah, because I feel that's good. Yeah. Her, what do you think, Charlie? Yeah, that will be okay. And yeah. also, guys, I remember. Let me answer you guys this question. So yeah. people has been uh, okay. You know, from our home, guys, eh, mm -hmm. to Lynette's home yeah. is around. Hey, like right now from, you know, we used to stay in Nairobi. Yes. I used to count around 400 kilometers plus yes. to my home. Yes. Now, you know, we've added because we moved to the village. Yes. So we moved. It, this is Over around, 100 kilometers. 110. 110, 110 kilometers, kilometers to Nairobi city. So it's almost 600 kilometers. Yeah, you can imagine, guys. From <laughs> our home to, like, okay. Past Mombasa. Let me say. Yeah. People, you know, many people have been thinking like okay. we are in Nyabuhanse, guys. No, we are yeah. not. We are not in Nyabuhanse. Mm. So from our home right now mm. to Nyabuhanse is around, let me say, 550 to 600 kilometers. 600 kilometers. kilometers. Yeah, like yeah. it's a half day drive. You yeah. can imagine. Yeah, we usually go like it's a day. It, it's something that you have to plan, not just waking up and going. Yes. Yeah, you have to plan like tomorrow I'm going to drive. Like yeah, you can next imagine. week. Yeah. Or tomorrow if That's I'm, where going, I'm going, you have to. Hunger. It's not like you, you are to going arrange. to the market and coming back. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. so me, I come from Nyabuhanse, mm. but Chalo comes from this side where we are going. Yeah. And for us, we reside in Kirinyaga. Yes. Yeah, so we don't stay in Nyabuhanse, guys. Mm -hmm. Although I know our village is very beautiful and yeah. uh, popular. Popular as well because <laughs> yeah. we are trying. We are the only actually the YouTubers in our, around. Mm. Sometimes even filming is hard. Those people tend to, but I know by one time they will be yeah. used to. Yeah, by the way, sometimes doing videos here, by the way, in this, my, my village, there are very few YouTubers. I actually yeah. know only like three of, them, three of them and they do local content. They are comedy. Yeah, they are comedians. Actually, I know Gukanyumba Kumisi, Yo Bruce and Mbili Mbili. Those are the only YouTubers I know Around. and they are Kenyan and for comedians. Them, they don't work doing content. They do in a specific, like their content is a kind of way structured yeah. compared to us. Mm -hmm. Ours is not structured. Yeah. Yeah. Ours is a vlog. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the main road, and this is the place where we wanted to have our. But that, but the place we are right now is where God said that's where you're going to build. So yeah. we always thank yeah. God for everything. But we really love this place. Honestly, guys, if you go inside, inside, hey, this nani, place nani. is very good. Yes. And one thing about it, they were selling land expensive. We really hey. loved it, but it was so expensive for us. Actually, guys, this place <laughs> is called Sagana. Hey. Yeah. And land here is very expensive, hey. close to. <laughs> Like for an eighth, an eighth is 50 meters by 100 meters, uh, would go as far as 1 million, 1.5 million. Million plus. Yeah. Uh, hey, it can even around at 1.8. Uh, that's around like uh, $15,000, I mean. One thing I've come to learn, mm. Kenyans can agree with me. Mm. In central Kenya, mm. lands are very expensive. I don't even know where that came uh, from. You people, you need to come in my home. I sell for you at seventy thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you know they will come asking you show us the one for seventy thousand. <laughs> I remember my neighbor sold at one hundred k. I was like, are you serious? Well, let's see now. <laughs> yeah. So guys, right now we are at the roadside. Yeah, this this road is called Sagana Kagio eh? Kutus. Sagana Kutus Road. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. So this place is called Sagana, and it's in Kirinyaga County in Kenya and in Africa. So please, guys, as you watch this video, please remember to subscribe in case you haven't, and please always give the video a like so YouTube gets to push the video to a wider audience. Yeah, we love you so much. So let's get right in, and then we head to Grandma. Eh? Yes. Yeah. Right now we are at a place called Sagana and Sagana is like this is where they have the main road here. Nairobi. So this main road here is the one that heads to Nairobi. So from this point here to Nairobi is around 100, like 100 kilometers. So here rice right, they sell at a very good rate. Eh? And you know there like grandma has no, like the rice there, okay. like the access to rice is very less. Yeah, yeah. they don't have rice there. Yeah, and I also saw like, this one you can imagine a kizungu. Jahe. Jahe. Oh, okay. Like the, I, I love the way they have packed it. This one is in kilongap. Two. Yeah, they start with two kilos going and all the, the way one. down. Yeah. Oh, one is this one. Okay, this one is one kg. They have two, like a very good arrangement here. Yeah, and this one, yeah, yeah brown rice, well packaged. 
think it's enough for us. Yeah, it's enough. You know, guys, I just came at this spot here, this place called the Tana River. Is it true or Sakana River? I don't know. The River Tana, yeah. Tana. Yes. <laughs> the net is telling me to move away from the bush. So, guys, I'm amazed at how far, like, uh, the water has gone. Eh? The last time I came here, like, there was a lot of rain. Eh? As you can see, like, right now, this place, okay, people usually come here to take shower. I remember I once came here. And we can also see so many people on the far end there. Yeah, some of them come to take shower, some come to do some fishing on the far end of that place there. And you can see when you try to look at this tree here, you see like river was flowing on top of it. I imagine. And imagine. So that means this place was covered. This was time. fully flooded. Wow, 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 this is so deep. This is so deep, guys. Hey, those motorbikes are so loud. Yeah, you see, there are so many lizards there, guys. You can see? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but this river seems to be very deep. And do you know lizards That's really love one. to bask in the stones? Ah. Reptiles. Uh, yeah, reptiles. Yeah, because of warmth. Let me ask warmth. you, is this the same river when we pass, going to Nairobi, we pass It's the same there? river. Right. Oh, that's why this it's called, so big. Yeah, it's called River Tana. River Tana. Yeah, so guys, okay, you know for us, let me know in the comment section, guys. You know, we like interacting with you as we do this video. Mm -hmm. So one thing, okay, let me have a seat here. Let me welcome myself. Guys, let me know in the comment section. Okay, for us, in case you're going to visit someone, eh? More so, okay, when you visit someone, we usually don't like buying anything when you go there. Because maybe you might do some shopping for them and maybe you just see like, uh, they just did, they just bought the same, same thing that you bought for them, maybe the previous day, maybe the previous week. Or sometimes you might just be lucky and maybe buy them the things that they don't have. For us, I think we always prefer going to when you're going to visit someone, you go there and ask them what, what, they don't have. what you don't have, maybe mm -hmm. for your mom. Yeah, especially my mom. When we go home, we don't buy anything. The same way I said, like, we don't tell her that we are going home. Yes. We just update her when we are 20, 20 minutes away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, like 20 minutes and then we reach home. So what we usually do, like for me, I'm just free with my mom, so yes. I can just go get into the uh, kitchen and see. check if the oil is not there. Yeah. And sometimes I even ask her, "What don't you? What do you? Okay, don't you have in your in uh, in our kitchen or in our house?" And then she tells me, "Then we go shopping." <laughs> yeah, but I yeah. prefer giving money. Uh, That's giving true. Money yeah. compared to when I buy something like foodstuffs yeah but at the same time it's good sometimes to buy them maybe cooking oil yeah cooking oil yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay sometimes for me for okay for us guys eh? yeah. sometimes you prefer we go because we might buy something and you bought it yesterday at the same time you might be you might see someone has already has shopping and I can tell you just give me the money and you see like maybe they wanted to sort something maybe the same same evening yeah you never know what might have done for them let me in the comment section how do you prefer guys doing things yeah and another thing our grandma has been uh, receiving so many visitors of yes. late uh -huh. so you might find that she has already the things she just talk about I will remove, remove it, it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. oh, yeah, so many have been coming to see her. Yeah, so you might find that maybe somebody bought. So it's good to go and give her money. Maybe yeah. she wants to buy something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's that's us guys. Eh? Mm -hmm. You can let me in the comment section how you do it. Eh? Okay. And you see guys, this spot here. Mm. Like uh, someone... Somebody, actually, yeah. he wants to wash that nini. Uh, Jerrican. Uh, you see he's carrying some, a lot of uh, yeah. sabuni, omo. Mm. Omo. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of soap. Yeah, okay. I think it's now you can go, guys. Now let's go, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> lizards mimingi. Like the yeah. lizards are so many. You see how they are running up and down? Yeah, so many of them. And you can see most of them basking there, some with different colors. You see, just running up and down. Many of them. Hey, some look like crocodiles. <laughs> they are quite big. Okay, so guys, wow. Hey yeah, guys, this river is very. Let me say it's big and the water is. The water is many. Eh? It's a lot. The water, eh, the water is more. Because look at those uh, roots there and even the bridge. Imagine at some point, like water level could reach on the top of that bridge.
left, right. And you see, like when it was raining, there was landslide. Yes, landslide, guys. So yeah. This place is very dangerous when it rains. Yes, very, very dangerous. Mm. And here you really have to stay on your lane. And you see the entire road is yellow continuous light. Eh? Mm -hmm. yes. wow. You see? <laughs> uh, Sharp corners. It's very, because of the hills. Yeah, it's because of the hills, guys. There are so many hills around. Guys, you see that corner? It's mm -hmm. very sharp. I thought he was too calm. I don't mean, yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> But this place is so cool, guys. You can even see how like the weather is changing. Mm. Yeah, so cool. Cool temperatures here. Sometimes a bit cold. Mm. Freezing. Uh, freezing cold temperatures. Yeah, you see how the soil on the sides is really dropping off. Yeah. It's collapsing. Eh? Yeah. And coming closer to the road. Eh? And I see, oh, they are using the same soil to make bricks. Yeah. Mm. But here they don't burn bricks, you know, whom we do. <laughs> yeah. uh. No indicators. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where are you going? Hey guys, a lot of development here. Roads are being made here each and every day. Yeah, guys, join us now. We are heading home, and this is the pathway that leads to our home. Eh? Yeah. yeah. And this is the path that I've used for many years when I was coming to school. Just like that guys we've arrived home eh? like okay we are not yet home we are just like uh, 200 meters from home guys let me tell you here this road here is very steep you see like when you put the camera down like this you can't see down there eh? yeah so guys imagine okay sometimes I really we can say like we really thank God for the steps that you try to make you can imagine guys this road that you see here we actually made it from our own pocket you can imagine mm. did you remember yeah, it was not possible. Yeah, but it was. We made it in a way that our car could go down yeah. and up, but because of the rain, yeah. the water has been uh, brought, like the soil has been brought by water. Yeah. And now it's very steep, even more steep. It's very, very steep, by, yeah, by the, the way. The car cannot pass. The car can't come it's here. Used, we used to go till home. Yeah. yeah, you see, by the guys, when you try to look at the far end, like, okay, a car can come down, but actually going uphill. It will be a hassle and you will call, okay, you will call your mom, let me tell you guys. Here, you might even, be, uh, Caterpillar, you will, you will you will even pull. call a tractor here to pull you, eh? Mm. Yeah, so we usually don't try to risk like taking a car down there. But initially, after the few days after we made this road, yes, it was really, it, we used to go down there and mm. even carrying five people and five load at the back. People. Yeah. Yeah. We used to pass here, but yeah. nowadays, yeah. here we... <laughs> Guys, I love how Lynette has adapted. You know, initially, guys, Lynette was like, the way she's going downhill, <laughs> let me, let me, like, the way she's going downhill effortlessly, initially, she was even holding my hand. Yeah, I used to fear. Mm -hmm. But now, because, yeah. Okay, now I'm getting used yeah. to this place. Mm, to this terrain here. Yeah, the terrain, yeah. but I'm still... Yeah. <laughs> You are still okay, I understand. Yeah, so guys, wow, this place looks like our uh, environment here is usually very cool and, beautiful. and very beautiful, guys. Eh? Yeah, because you see, okay, we usually have a quarry there, and I remember the well. Okay, when my uncles were coming to dig my well here, 
they thought like they could miss stones but the funny thing about the our well here like it didn't get a single stone yeah, and it went it went eight, 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 feet. eight feet you can imagine mm -hmm. yeah but and we you have actually doubting because because Come. Of the you can here. Peter Uku. Hmm? Hmm? We were doubting because of the hills <laughs> yeah. it won't get water yeah, yeah. So but there now water. there's a lot of water on the well mm. yeah so guys this like imagine guys this place if you're not used to hilly terrains it will be really a big mess for you eh? yeah guys i at least okay i always thank god i believe like in the future when things turn around so well this road will ever make it good actually because the first thing to develop our home was to make a road because imagine everything in our home like we could even carry it using our back you can imagine yeah it might be it stones, be it cement, be it everything, guys. You have to carry it by mabega or makichwa. Mabega ni shoulders or head. Guys, we just got here and I'm really loving the sounds of nature. We've actually been standing here for like five minutes just listening. Eh? You can listen, guys, as well. It's very nature is very beautiful guys wow and these are very good idea guys trapping water you see how they have a very big is it a faro or a far or a trench quite big trapping the water that's coming all the way from uphill guys you can see how steep the hill is eh? wow let's go home guys eh? let's go home together yeah. let's go and see grandma Oop. wow <laughs> I remember guys everything I'm trying to see here all this road here it was very narrow but at least we thank God for the little achievements that we make as we grow up guys you know we're still in our 20s and still trying to push each and every day yeah, yeah and we have <laughs> our beautiful gate here yeah it's a good one it's a good one in the village the one. hey this one is even better than the one we have at our home I know grandma will be very surprised. <laughs> wow, let me close the gate. So no one is here, guys. Gracias, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, grandma is greeting us with left because she okay her hand okay is recovering, yeah? Yeah, she's on her mm. recovery. Yeah. Santi. Let's get in. Yeah, here you have to remove shoes. Uh -huh. she, one thing I love about her, she's always clean. Hey grandma is very clean, That's guys. A tick. <laughs> yeah you even see like she has a mat an improvised mat so guys let me have my this is usually our portable wi-fi let me have it there it usually helps us a lot while uploading our videos so that's why we always work with it okay i have to switch it off so guys let's get in here yeah. we are finally home guys <laughs> after a long time yeah. Oh, yeah, you see, guys, it's recovering. Oh, has some pain. Yeah, you see, like it's done on the shoulder, this area, and it's, it's getting well. Eh? Oh. But it's recovering. I yeah, see. I think it's because of the it's on the recovery process. Mm. So you know that okay, this place here. Mm. Uh, is the one that was operated, operated. so it's Nazima yeah. Tinani's. Yeah, so definitely, yeah. yeah. You know, for the for the for the surgery, like they don't they don't cut the entire part; they just cut a small part here, and then they operate from the inside, guys. I don't, I'm not so sure on the explanation. So I think she's doing well, and uh, we are glad. Okay, that's that's the best thing you can come to say to someone who is sick or maybe trying to recover. Just come and say hi to them. 
talk with them and see how they are faring. <laughs> When you when somebody's on their healing process, mm. they need a lot of calcium. Yeah, that's bone soap. But you might, uh, imagine my dad and you can go right here. Imagine my dad brings like uh the bone 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 soap. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Like every weekend. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, but guys, don't worry. We always have our auntie here. Like the brother to my dad usually comes here Sister. to cook for grandma. Eh? Yeah, they always stay here, the three of them. But three of them. We have Chege. Most of you know Chege. And I hope Chege will come before mm -hmm. before it gets in the evening. Yeah. yeah and but has kitchen. Yes. And Lynette has already adapted his grandma's. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. By the way, guys, do you usually wash meat? Okay, wherever you're coming from, do you wash meat? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, but Lynette usually washes meat. Yes. Okay, guys. Oh, guys, so this is our home right now for the new subscribers. Eh? I know for those who watch our videos, I've done a couple of videos here giving us, giving you guys a tour. What grows here as much is just bananas. Eh? We're going to, to do maybe a slight tour of our home eh? as this video goes. Guys, you want to go and see our house here. Actually, guys, you know, I, I really respect humble beginnings. Eh? Yeah, I remember like this house, we constructed it like this was our village home. Eh? Yeah, and... Uh, one step at a time guys i can't imagine like we used to have this and right now we started building another big house you always thank god for the small small steps maybe sooner or later when everything by the way guys i always say that road really like that was the best thing to start with in, to develop our home eh? because imagine guys imagine this kind of a stone here it was carried by shoulders to our home so you can imagine so at least by that when all things become good mm. yeah, we'll be able to do it so guys welcome to our mansion cobwebs okay cobwebs first eh? mm. let's get in Ooh. wow no, guys, no removing shoes no removing shoes mm. eh? but don't step on the mat because it's still clean just some slight vumbi mm. yeah let me ah we have electricity guys <laughs> Guys, you can imagine this is our village home. This is our village home here. Like this, in case we come to visit grandma, this is where we usually sleep. Mm -hmm. Imagine on the outside we have iron sheets and we have a ceiling. I think it still looks presentable. It's like it's the best. Yeah, it's the best. Mm -hmm. Like a village home. So we this is called uh, plywood and we just had them on the this sides. This is a Mabati house. Yeah, this is a Mabati house, iron sheet house. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, and that's how it looks and we have the the seat this seat actually we bought it when we were in the university guys you can imagine yeah you tried to show lynette that you are a man i'm now able you bought... <laughs> <laughs> guys imagine i bought this like this way okay i bought this we were sitting on it and in the university you can imagine uh, wow it was a good step you. and you see mm -hmm. i'm always very ambitious uh, anyway, let me tell you guys about this seat it's a very nini it's very comfy and another thing it's mm. very it doesn't matter quality quality, quality like uh, yeah it's quality by the way yeah, yeah. and then uh, mm. okay humble beginnings but the best best yeah. of all and those seats we actually bought them when we were staying in a bed sitter in nairobi imagine in a guys place called imara imara daima mm. yeah you see for yeah. us we know how to arrange ourselves if you come to shago we always cover our beddings. Our beddings are <laughs> there, guys. You can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And we have a mat here, guys. You see? Like, Actually, it matches with our seats. It matches so well. Guys, you can imagine. <laughs> this is our village house. But right now, the house is dusty. Yeah, it's I don't dusty, know where dusty but it comes from. I don't even know. We have a ceiling. Ceiling. The house. But you can see, like, even on the carpet here, Lynette. It's clean. Imagine it's still clean. Like, Kavumbi. But you like can see the Vumbi is here. When you come on this stand, the dust. TV stand. The TV stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, like it has some dust, dust. Mm -hmm. So when we used to sell utensils online, so I was the manager online. This is what I was selling. So one of the fine days, the customer who took this to our customer, and, and it didn't work. So I had to take it home for Chalo to repair it. So when we are here. We usually use it. It's very unique, guys. Don't see very this thing unique. like this. Don't see it like that. Yeah, it comes with this jug. Yes, look. And so it's good. very, very good, presentable. Ma'am, let see? me present it to you from the outside, guys. And it has also another jug. You see, guys, this jug looks so good. Eh? Yeah, wow. <laughs> 
this is like for a dispenser it's actually called it uh, it's called bottom load dispenser bottom load dispenser so mm. it's a touch screen you yeah. just put it here this one is for here there is a small jug which is very good you put it here ah, and then you is it visible? you wa- you open ah. here if yeah. it's keeping warm, okay let's heat. show you guys here it has the option for keep warm Heat, heat, get, get water, water power. power. So this one, it's automatic. It, it just rotates it goes. like that. If I want water here, it will pour here. If I want it, you just uh, give it the authority here mm-hmm. to go around, around. Yeah, and it's bottom load. Bottom load means like, mm. that's why you load your water, you see? Mm. Yeah, Kai, it's very dark, Lene. It's very dark. Yeah. Inside yeah. here. Yes, it's very dark. Oh. But guys, that's our house too. I hope you're enjoying this. Eh? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, and I this is the one. And this is our baby when she was around two years old. Or yeah, she three. was turning three. Yeah, and that's Lynette and Chalukush and our daughter there. <laughs> you can imagine, guys. I think uh, it's not so normal to have portraits in the village. Yeah. And this ceiling here is called PVC ceiling. Yeah? ceiling. It's still good. It's an affordable ceiling in mm. case you're very tight on a budget. budget. Yeah. Mm. Okay, guys. I think. Anyway, we love this house. Not mm. like. We love we anyway. Love. Uh-huh. It's actually a good house that we really invested in uh, having it. Yes. Yeah. And by the way, you might maybe be deceived by the looks from the outside, but on the inside, it looks so good. Guys, by the way, when you try to look from here, you can even think it's plastered on the sides. Eh? It's not. It's not, guys. We made some fillings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, by the way, like we added some filler, you see? Mm-hmm. Like and the, the, actually the bedrooms are very big uh, yeah. in a way that six by six all bedrooms yeah. is uh, in a fit it fits yeah. and here there is another bed which is a double deck a yeah. bunk bed a bunk Thank bed you guys for a bunk educating bed. Lynette. yeah but bunk i know bed. some people might not understand bunk bed ni double bunk, deck. bunk bed is a double deck <laughs> <laughs> okay Lynette, mm-hmm. let's go and check your meat so yeah, it let's doesn't go check meat we yeah. cook for grandma and mm. see What's next? So guys, you told me the cow has already been in that. Yeah, let's go and see. Okay. Yeah, guys, this is our home and uh, this is uh, like this how it looks right now. Mm. Yeah. We believe in the future, guys. Yeah, things are going to come out nicely. Yeah. Let's see guys. So this is our cow here, like uh okay. It has more milk in the teeth. It has some milk more milk in the teeth. <laughs> yeah, so like this here we usually do zero grazing like just get food for the cow and bring it here and she usually milks on maybe on bad days or good days she milks around uh, six liters and around maybe 12 liters a day on the higher end i think it's still it's still good because here they usually they usually sell milk to these companies the companies usually come here to buy the milk like they take it very early in the morning and uh, let me see where the calf is guys <laughs> wow there's some good news eh? wow it's well protected there yeah, finally guys you have the calf mm. here yeah it's actually very big amuka amuka means wake up eh, let's see if she's gonna oh it gave birth today or yesterday i remember okay i don't remember what my grandma said but here okay i think they are just doing like they have really tried to protect it and i know it's chege that did this chege is going to come maybe before the video before the day ends before it gets dark so to just prevent like dogs from getting in but still good so here okay what usually happens you see for the cow that you have right now it's usually like a generation like it's like the third or the sixth generation for the cows because since we were young grandma has been let's say like she wants to get rid of the mother now when she wants to get rid she'll sell it and then if this one is a calf is a bull or a female okay let's say this one is a female so she's gonna rear it once again until it becomes big and it gives birth once again and that way that's how she's been doing it like she knows the be- like this breed is quite good and uh, it's really uh, like it's really reliable yeah so let me see from here i i, I can't wait to see it feeding eh? yeah wow you know anytime you see a new life just a sign of hope guys you see trying yeah and you know it has to keep the place warm yeah but here they usually have to milk the milk the milk eh, milk the milk they have to get to milk the milk for the uh, for the calf 
and then they give her and then remove the sum and i'm really i think i'm not sure colostrum like the milk that's gonna be milked is colostrum like you when you ferment it it really has a very good taste and it's a good taste we used to we used to have that when we were young and right now i still love it because even from my grandma like where the, my mom comes from usually have it and it really tastes good let me see how far it has reached okay. Guys, let's see the you know the milk i told you the milk is a woman of recipe ah <laughs> 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 Okay. Oh, like she says, like we wait for like three months to get the. Oh, she gives it four months, milk for four months. Hey, wow, that's good. Yeah, she actually says like for her she feeds the cow for four months. Before so she that, lets it. Yeah, so yeah. that it can be strong. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so tell me continue cooking. Yeah, so guys we want to go there down there. We want to go and take some <laughs> yeah. kills, some kills. Yeah. yeah, and this is the outdoor toilet guys. Eh? A nice one. Guys, let me tell you, you know, here in the village, we made this for grandma. This is why, like, grandma takes some hot shower. You see, from here, guys, you see? It's a hot shower. You see, even the socket is operating. This is a village life, guys. But so nice. Actually, the people who made this, they really did a commendable job, eh? Yeah, still looks good, guys. The village, yeah. Let me show you guys even the toilet. And that's the toilet there, guys, you see? Yeah, the outdoor toilet, still good. Yeah, the village. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Let's go. We actually want to go to get some kales for our garden. I forgot to switch off. Okay. Let's go. I wanted to show them the outdoor toilet. I was telling you. <laughs> I told Shosho, huh. when you plant here, maize, huh. they will never be. They will never grow. Uh, they will never grow because oh. of the shade. Like but the way she has. Know, she doesn't believe me. Now here <laughs> her comes her, her big surprise. <laughs> but they didn't grow well. Yeah. Lynette, this is an apple, a money. Oh no, this is strawberry, guys. They are called mulberries. Yes. I can see this rose flower. The rose flower. Yeah. Yeah, guys, you can imagine. Actually, for the sake of new subscribers, <laughs> guys, imagine flowers. it's growing, guys. Some of them zime kauka. Mm. Actually, for the sake of new subscribers, this uh, we lost our brother. My brother was suffering from leukemia, and we lost him last year, November 18, and we laid him to rest here after a very big battle, guys. So even the roses that we planted here, guys, eh? no one takes care of them, mm. but imagine they are just growing no, by when themselves. when I come, I always take care of them. Because <laughs> she can show me changa. Yeah, yeah. But imagine they are the ones that we planted, mm. like the roses that you usually carry when somebody... Mm. Okay, you plant it around. The way like you plant. Just flowers. We yeah. didn't expect them to grow. Yeah. 
they grew they were more yeah they were see, more see. actually uh, you see even here like this one is still still growing these now these are the white roses eh? yeah so wow yeah let's go and i wish we could carry like this type of nini yeah this type of neck pure grass but it's not good this is, the nini we this, want. this is the one we want but we can't pluck this guys okay we need this kind of scale here this is the like this one is durable and it can last for years when you still harvesting so we want to get some suckers okay it's called the suckers type of kale yeah Hey, and this one has very nice leaves, Lynette. Yeah. I think they are very resistant to the environment. You yeah. see, this one looks very, very okay. They, they, yes. They love this kind of environment. The cool. Is, yeah, cool mm. and cold. Cool and cold. Uh, you know, here sometimes mm. the most of the mornings mist is everywhere. Mm. Yeah, like they are nearer to the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, and, and this is coffee coffee berries you know coffee here is usually harvested in december mm. and this time around i think hey it has really flowered eh? mm. and this one you know like this breed here is almost my height yeah our height like your but height this, past height like yes. i mean where you plucking like oh, even yeah. yeah like some of them there are some which haven't been grafted yeah, yeah. hey guys look at this scale guys this, this is, is a the one we want to this is a disgrace because guys this has been See? here years yeah so I want yeah. to pluck Charlo. Pluck them? Yeah, so you pluck like this. Yeah, pluck mm. the other one. But yeah. if you come home, mm. we will be cutting here. You you know, we were mm. told you cut it here and then yeah. bury the big one. Yeah. So it can generate most of the most roots. Roots. Mm. Yeah. So like this. Yeah. So guys, we'll be plucking this, the most of the kills here. Yeah, for our uh, kitchen garden. We, we have a nursery bed for the this kind of kelp that you haven't planted yet on our garden. And then we are going to eat the leaves, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. I think they are enough now. Yeah, they are enough. Guy, I'm <laughs> wondering about the napier grass. Hey guys, you know, like grandma has a lot of napier grass. I even she's very hard working. She's very like you know, you know, even okay, even though she's not working right now, yeah, like she coordinates. ensures like she coordinates how eh the best word to yeah. use. <laughs> Imagine the net we never have any yams in our garden. Yeah, yeah, by the way, these are yams. Yeah, yams. You told me that these are yams, I was like, yeah. These are yams, guys, yeah. you see? Yeah, like imagine the kind of nipper grass that grandma has. So mm. she said, like, even if she has like two or three cows, mm. like the nipper grass would still be enough. So you see, like, right here, mm. the ones that they've cut, they've cut down, mm. you can see, like, this. Yeah, this entire part, part. yes. So. Mm. Uh, she'll have to ask somebody to bring the manure, the mm. cow manure. Actually, she has a I wish she was just nearer us. We couldn't be, be buying. buying the manure. We actually buy so, an in at $10. Yeah, so yeah. they will bring the manure and put it here so that the Tara can the come out. Grass grass grass. You, if, if, I'm, you know, you are not going to even You know, you know even going down there, you'll get a lot of scratches on your <laughs> Today hands. I'm not trying. I Today? know down there it's very beautiful, guys. Yeah. We could have shown you. Mm. The views, mm. it, we actually have a river, the best place ever. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can. Let me see, guys. Guys, oh. we wanna go down there and see. <laughs> Lynette, look at how Lynette is going. <laughs> hey, hey. God has rewarded me this. With an ini. A kill. Yeah, with a kill, yeah. Mm. So this one. Cut, cut the big one. Maybe you can leave them here, then you can go down there a little no. bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't want to forget them. There's no way you're forgetting them. No, okay. let me just hide them. Let's go with them then. <coughs> Guys, okay, imagine the napier grass here. Like it's a lot. A lot of napier grass. Hey, this one, I think you know, there will be so many. There's so many. Yeah, but they that's actually enough. trying to maximize the, maximize the probability. the probability of germinating. Yeah. Of growing, you know. Yeah. Ah, hey, it's enough. Okay, guys, let me go down there and show you something. Just wait for me there. <laughs> yeah, guys, let's go. Just like I want, just want to show you a very good view of our, uh, like downward, like where we have usually, like where we were coming to fetch water when we were young with my late brother. Yeah, like this is the place. 
you can see how it looks like it looks really good it's a uh, and this place here used to be a forest yeah but we cut down all the trees when we were building the house eh? yeah but still looks good eh? okay you know this place like it's usually very cool and uh, you can see how it looks guys from here a lush green environment and when you're sitting here guys like all you can hear is the sounds of nature eh? like the birds are so many here like feels so good eh? yeah i can even remember like we were actually planting a lot of kelps down there like the circus type only that uh, by ages they <laughs> they never grew up with my like we were doing it with my brother like all my childhood memories are made from this area and also down there at the river we used to to do some fishing eh? and also washing our clothes like a lot was happening so guys just that place there is where we have the river okay guys you know i'm still here so let me let me get down there and then we we go back home faster faster yeah wow this place looks so good eh? yeah like okay my grandma doesn't like my grandma is so much into cattle farming like the way she's uh keeping a cow but now like that's the reason why you haven't seen her plant a lot of food like the she also doesn't love kelps that's why you see like she doesn't plant so she has just has some maize and some beans like not so many of them here yeah so this river here guys eh? this is i used to do some fishing eh? with my brother and other friends as we were growing up eh? <laughs> yeah i can remember so well yeah this place is usually so cool eh? yeah i love the flow of water guys from this side so we used to come here like this is where all my childhood was made yeah and you can see a guava tree here and i can see like people still come to wash clothes here at the river like this spot here i remember i've seen a couple of people doing the same yeah you can see like the same way they have these kind of kelps you see like the circus type of kelps they have like the purple like the leaves look like purplish uh, is it purple or dark green i'm not so sure but it's not like the other kind of kelps that are like maybe light green in color so we used to have the same same kelps here like the same spot so this is actually my neighbor's land eh? yeah and this one here like is our land eh? yeah so we used to water in the evening and feel so good i like it felt really good eh? wow this place is so cool like with the sounds of birds <laughs> okay guys let's go back home faster faster it's in the evening and i think the birds are closing <laughs> they, i guess it's time to go and sleep let me go back home guys <laughs> and Lynette is nowhere to be seen. Okay, let me go back there, guys. <laughs> this nipple grass is so harsh, guys, on the on the face and also on the hands. Yeah. Guys, <sighs> let's go back home now oh, I have some sugar can there okay this is still young <laughs> okay I'm not like there today <sighs> guys we are ready to do some milking and we have Chege here Chege yes. say hi to them hi hi guys we are going it is now time for milking time for milking yeah and we have this is hot water uh, hot water yeah okay this is cold water uh -huh. and here we have the milking jerry okay yeah. so we are okay we go there guys let's go do some milking Lina, do you know how to milk <laughs> okay 
guys let's do some milking here and this is grandma's kitty guys look it looks like a <laughs> okay i don't know like which which breed is this <laughs> okay i guess it's fearful it's not just people so in gear, in gear, in gear. guys you can see how he has a very big teeth like the teeth is massive hey it's beating my camera with the tail Ah, like it has entered okay that's where it sleeps there yeah. and then the other place is where like the the milking point yeah, yeah it's now it has to engage the reverse gear <laughs> yeah. it has to come out in reverse wow okay. and you see guys i was telling it's limping a little bit eh? just a little yeah. And then it has to be restrained, isn't it? And the calf already knows it's time for milking. <laughs> we start by. Okay, this one is cold water. Mm. This one is very hot. Very hot. Yeah, very hot. Okay. So we have to mix with this the oh, cold water. And cold water. Yes. Yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah. used to wash with this one yes. that way oh you have to get in yeah we start with washing this way oh, be oh because the teeth now is very big yeah the mammary in it yes wait see it will come out no oh it will hey guys the calf is mooing so much so he has to wash it thoroughly yeah like you know when you wash it with the hot water you stimulate the nerves for the milk yeah. and you have to press so hard isn't it? yeah oh like you have to massage it so yeah. hard eh? yeah okay, almost thought my grandma's cow has six teeth you see it has one two okay we have two there another two here and another this one looks like a teeth and this one also looks like a teeth <laughs> These ones are what to check it? <laughs> or just small teeth? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, guys, you know he has to wash it because okay, the, okay, the place where it lives, this one here, still looks good. Like it's well, like it only has some soil, but this way it's even poos. And from the way they have even made the sleeping area, like the cow poo always comes here. Like there's no way the cow poo will be at the spot where it sleeps. So he has to restrain it here. Yeah, so it doesn't grow through legs. Wow. <laughs> Guys, you know, let's sit here and enjoy together. It's about time to milk. Send you a check. Yeah. Yeah, you start by mm -hmm. applying the milk in jelly. Milk in jelly, that right there. Yeah. The car is so calm. It's yeah. so calm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like this, how how many bones does it have now? How oh. many times has it given birth? Two. Two. Yeah. How, I was asking but how how many birds has it given? Then you say bones. <laughs> How many bones? Bones, fupa. <laughs> okay, guys. Time to milk. How many liters did you get in the morning, Charlie? In the morning, eight. Eight liters. Yeah. So right now we expect how many? I'm expecting about four. Four liters. Yes. So that's around twelve liters a day. We have not found at one. You, how many liters at one p.m.? Six. Okay. Eight. Inet, how many liters does your cows hey, in your area? That's a good business if it was in my area. Imagine. Like, okay, how many liters in your area? Your cow's mom, your mom's cow. Jug, moja. If it's one jug, yeah. two liters. <laughs> but it's indigenous. <laughs> anyway. Okay, you can, and you can imagine here, like that's milk for okay. So imagine, so check it. Right now we expect around four liters. Four so liters. we had eight liters in the morning, plus six. That's fourteen. Mm -hmm. Plus around four, 
about 18 liters in a day. So for us, that one liter in our home, mm. one liter in our home, we So we sell it at 30 bob, 30, 30, 30. So one liter at 90 bob. So ima- I can imagine how yeah. much we could be made- so, making. That's around yeah. 90 times. 90 times, times eight. 8. That's for only uh, in the morning, Cindy. Yeah. Like let's eight. say 90 times 8, 18. 18. Hey. 18 times 9. Hey guys, English, oh, maths is not. Let me see. If you calculate how many liters it could be. 8 times 90. 720. 8 times 9. Uh, 8 liters. Yeah, 8 liters a day. Uh, yeah. Oh, 1 liter. We said like the total amount of liters in a day hmm. is around 18. Oh, 18. 18 liters in a day. Let's 16, give it a, a range of 15. Let's give it 15 liters. 16, 20. 16, 20. Yeah. But you see, mm. that's in my area. Here, you, the price of milk is very low because very low. everybody Check is it. milking. How, how, how much are they buying per liter here mm. for the farmers? 40 bob. Guy, 40 bob. Yeah, per liter. Per liter. <laughs> yes. Ah. I told you in my home it can be a boom business. Guys, imagine here, here they are buying 0.3. So, someone agora a cigana. It is a idea. 40. Really? You can be a boom. Eh? Guy. Imagine it's around but 40 it's to 42. I Guys, you know that's around 0.3 liters. That's very cheap. Like they are very cheap. I think it's because everybody has a cow. I think we should strike now. Those <laughs> rates are very bad. <laughs> <laughs> but Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Like grandma is want us to cut uh, a banana. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Guys, I can't wait to see. Okay, these are around uh, like 3 liters, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, guys. You want to try? Guys, okay, it's getting dark, guys. I am not sure if it's visible, but I know it's visible. Let me show you guys the time here. Yeah, it's late in the evening. It's 6 13. And nowadays, I'm wondering why is it getting too late? Like, uh, it's getting yeah. dark very early. We didn't do geography or social studies. It disappeared. <laughs> we have stayed so many years not in school. To, to feed how many liters? Two to three liters. Okay, so. <laughs> they know how to take care of it. And you know you should not overdo. Oh. Yes, like you need to moderate. I feel like we are so black. We are so light. dark. It's actually very late. It's that's around 18 that. And I think because this place has a lot of trees, that's why it's it's darker. It's darker. Yeah. It looks like we are in somewhere down. Yeah. yeah. You realize this is a hill. That's Our a hill there. there. Yeah, up there. Up. You see, let me <laughs> show you guys. Where well, you see the top of that tree, that's the that's height of the yeah. The milk is here now. Mm. Okay. Guys, let's go and feed the calf together late in the evening. At least, you know, this is dinner for the calf. Oh, you have to get it. Yeah, okay. Wake up. Wake up. Okay. No sleep. Okay, now wait. Okay, now Okay, means wake up. You do like this. Okay. You hold with two legs. Oh, you hold there. Yeah. Two legs. Yeah. Oh, you hold it with your two legs. Yeah. It doesn't know how to drink on its own. Yeah. <laughs> so you right. make your finger at it. Oh. That way. Oh, yeah. You give it. So, guys, I think we'll be ending our video here. We'll be spending our entire night here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, let me know what you learned from our video today. And also, kindly let me know in the comment section. We've asked so many questions in the video, guys. Kindly give us answers on everything we've asked, guys, if possible. And we'll really appreciate because every day we are learning from you guys. Eh? Thank you so much, guys, for supporting us. May God bless you and welcome to our village. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. We love you from this side. We want to tell you guys bye-bye from our home. Bye-bye, yeah. guys.